Over the past 20 years, interest rates have fluctuated from the highs of the early 90s to the current all-time lows. For a business that has a loan that is linked to the base rate, they carry the risk that this rate will increase in the future. A swap is an instrument that allows you to exchange a variable rate for a fixed rate. By agreeing to enter into a swap, it means that no matter where the base rate moves during the life of the swap, you will always pay the same fixed interest rate. It is important to realize that the fixed rates offered by a bank move independently of the base rate. As market sentiment changes, so does the level that you can fix your interest rate at. Waiting for the lowest base rate does not guarantee you the lowest fixed rate. Quotes will change from day to day. However, when you accept the fixed rate, it will not change for the duration of the agreement. Your company borrows money from a lender and, under the terms of the loan, you agree to pay the lender the variable base rate plus a lending margin. If the base rate changes, your total borrowing rate immediately reflects this change. The risk to your company is that total payments increase over the course of your loan. To mitigate this risk, you decide to enter into a base rate swap agreement. Here, you pay the bank a fixed rate based on the current market conditions. In return, the bank pays you the variable base rate for the term of the swap. If the base rate increases, you continue to pay base plus lending margin to your lender. However, under the swap agreement, the bank matches this increase. As the cash flow out increases to your lender, you will see an equal increase in cash flow in from the bank. In effect, these flows cancel out, leaving the fixed rate as your net costs of funds. Instead of seeing multiple cash flows on your account, the bank calculates the net difference between the variable base rate it pays you and the fixed rate that you pay. Let's look at the possible outcomes. Over a charging period, if the average base rate is below the agreed fixed rate, the bank will debit you the difference. If the average base rate for a charging period is higher than the fixed rate, then the bank will credit you the difference. There are both advantages and disadvantages when entering into a base rate swap. It protects you against rising interest rates and allows you to forecast your payments and no premium is charged when entering into a swap. You are, however, obliged to pay the fixed rate even if the base rate is consistently below the swap rate. As the swap is an independent product and protects a notional sum, you may have a number of loans and other borrowings that are all protected within a single swap transaction. However, if you repay your loans early or terminate the swap agreement due to other circumstances, there may be a breakage cost. This cost is determined by prevailing market conditions. And that concludes the base rate swap. For more information, please contact your advisor.